Electric pulse fishing, a giant net attached to a fishing boat, laden with electrodes, is dragged across the seabed, producing an electric field in the water. It shocks the fish on the seafloor, which then float up to the surface for fishermen to scoop up. In some ways, it's an improvement over commercial fishing methods like trawling, but it could be turning the sea into a desert. For centuries, commercial fishing boats used a conventional method called beam trawling. The boats dragged massive chains along the seabed to force the bottom-dwelling shrimp and flatfish out from under the sand. But this method is costly. Fishermen are required to use large amounts of diesel to power the boat dragging the heavy net. It's also considered one of the most environmentally dangerous fishing methods. Chains damage the seafloor, and the huge nets unintentionally catch other species. The first trials with marine electro trawls in Europe were conducted in the 1970s in the Netherlands. It was promoted as a more sustainable alternative to beam trawling, as carbon emissions are significantly lower and the seabed isn't physically destroyed. But in the 90s, potential consequences of the method were surfacing. Yet, it's still practiced despite bans and public outcry. So buyers are starting to reject fish caught by it. The luxury chain hotel, Relais and Chateau, and a group of Michelin-starred chefs say they will not cook with pulse-caught fish. Ne tombe pas de travailler les poissons issus de la pêche électrique parce que poissons de de mauvaise qualité. British and French supermarkets, Waitrose and Intermarché, will not sell fish caught this way either. Here's why. Bloom, a French non-governmental organization campaigning against the practice, says it permanently damages marine life. Just like trawling, electric pulse fishing is indiscriminate. All fish within the vicinity of the pulses are at risk. These pulses can break spines of fish like cod, haddock, and pollock. It can even damage future populations. Electric pulse fishing has reduced the hatching rate of cod eggs in Dogger Bank North Sea by 25%, and it could affect electrosensitive species like sharks and rays. Sharks detect their prey through sensory receptors that run along their sides. The European Union banned it in 1998, along with other destructive fishing methods, including the use of explosives, poisonous, or stupefying substances. But it's still happening. In 2006, the European Union granted 80 permits, allowing members to use electric fishing to fulfill their fishing quota in the North Sea in the name of research. The Dutch claims it uses 46% less fuel and catches 50% less unwanted marine life than other trawling methods. But even this might be causing grave damage. Research by the Institute for Marine Resources and Ecosystem Studies says, this type of current causes violent, uncontrolled convulsions that leaves 50 to 70% of large cods with a fractured spine and internal bleeding after being electrocuted. Some fishermen believe this method is hurting their catch. One Belgian fisherman said that, where six years ago, it was not a problem to catch 15 kilograms of cod, this has fallen back to zero kilograms in recent years. Certainly the last two years, nothing was caught anymore. For now, the European Parliament will continue to negotiate with European institutions and member states to compromise on fishing regulations. That leaves the Netherlands able to continue electric pulse fishing as a form of research until the new legislation is in place. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you're notified every time we post a new video. See you next time.